But uh, one acre, when you do it well, you can get 60 bags of rice. And 60 bags of rice, one acre, one bag is 350. So it will be 350 times uh, 60. At least 21,000 Ghana cities. 21,000 Ghana cities yes. for one acre. One acre. Yeah. Okay, please, can you introduce yourself? I'm Anubi Maxwell from Gumwa Ochepo, Central Region, Ghana. Okay. Abis, what motivates you to start the right farming? Okay. It's not a much. Um, that is what we've been doing in our community. Exactly. Whether you go to school or not, whatever it is, that is what you have to implement, uh, in, introduce yourself into before you can um, do anything else. So, as um, as I said earlier, that, that is what we've been doing in this our community. It is easy for me to start doing something about it before um, going to do anything else. So what motivates me most is there was nothing that I can do unless I start from. So that is why I started. Wow. So after you complete school, you decide to go into the farm, a rice farming? Yes, yes. Um, um, if, uh, after I completed school, I do so many things. But the time I start farming, I just realized that I'm, I'm losing something uh, very huge. That is why I started the farm. Because uh, what I was getting out from the farming is more more power good than what I was doing in Elisha. So that is motivated me more to stay in the farm. Okay, as far as what are you doing before you, you intend to write farming? So the time I, started, I completed SHS, so I started teaching. I even stopped teaching. I went to join one company at um, Yama. And before I left over to this place. So all this work that I was doing, the, the the outcome was not good for me enough for me so the time i start farming i just realized that i'm getting something good that is why i stay okay the time you start rice farming what can you do please when you talk of challenges there are so many challenges that i i, I pass through finite financially and even though to get a plot and to farm in is not easy it is very very um something that we, most of the youth in this community we are facing even when you get a, a, the plot, for you to get um, money to buy input, because when you talk of rice farming, it involves a lot. You got to get um, money to buy input, even to get a college seed, you have to get money. So the main challenges that I faced was um, was money. That is financial, yes, financial problem. That is the most uh, challenges that I got. Okay, so how do you able to face the challenge that you, you go to? So um, for me to pass through, you see, sometimes you have to get those buyers, buyers, those who, people who buy the rice. When you communicate with them, some, some of them might help you, some will not help you. And um, normally we, we collect loans from others with interest. So when you collect it, after, the, after you harvest, then you pay it back. So yeah. that is what I started with. I collected loan from um, some people, and after the farm, after the harvesting, then I pay back. So that is where I started. If you want to plant rice, do you need to start with bed, or how do you start preparing a rice? It depends. It depends. Sometimes um, you have some areas that always the land will be flooded. So when it happens that that you can't plant it unless you made a bed that is. Uh, yes, you made a bed before you nest your rice before you can transplant it. Yes, but see, we have an areas, um, those areas, there will be no flooding. You see that the plot, the time you uh, read your, you have uh, what, what you call, uh, retivate the land. By the time you finish retivating the land, you see that um, there was no water or not on it. So for that one, you can plant it straight. But um, I even advise everybody that they want to um, start farming that you should do uh, practice the transplanting because the transplanting is good than uh, planting it. So, ah, so you do we do the bed. So you yet take us to the bed. How do you do the bed? Okay. Um. You first put the the rice. Yes. You put the rice into the, a sack, and you put it into the water for one day. Or one night, you will take it and you will keep it for a while, let's say two days. By the time you will see that it has started germinating, before before then your bed will be all ready. 
when I say bed, I know definitely that everybody know how to create bed. Mm, yes. If we can <coughs> locate us on the bed, and I will be happy on that. Okay. Um, okay. This is the way we do bed. Inside your plot, you have to raise some area. So for for the bed, for the bed, it will be a little bit up than the normal land. Yes. So that is why how the bed is being created. So when you do that, then you you spread the rice. The rice, as I said earlier, you will see that the rice will start germinating. So when you see that, then you spread it in on the bread, and you you, you use your ha your hand to uh, cover everything so that there will be no you will not see the seed because when you leave the seed over there, definitely the birds also will come and eat it. So you have to make sure that. Every all the rice will go inside, so by two days you start you see that it has start germinating. Okay. So that is called bed. It is about okay. So yeah, take us to the the bed. So the bed will take how many weeks for for the bed? It depends. It depends you your the farming, but the normal time is three weeks. Three weeks. Yes, by three weeks you have to make sure that your land is well prepared that you can start transplanting. So it will be two days and or, or you got three weeks. For three weeks, the bed definitely will be ready unless you don't water. So if you want to get a good bed, you have to make sure that you are still watering it every day. If where you did, where you did your, your bed, there is no water. Sometimes it, it, it happens that where the bed is, there is a flood water over there. For that one, you don't need to water it. But when you see that where you you do your bed is dried, always you have to uh, make sure that you water it. It will help it to uh, move fast. That by that three weeks that I'm talking about, it will be ready for you to transplant it. And also sometimes um, you you may not know that the seed that uh, you nest there uh, uh, that that uh, infections. Sometimes there's infections in the on the seed that you may not know. So you have to spray it. We have um, some uh, in uh, insects that they can worry the seed. So when it starts germinating, that is where you will see that. So you have to make sure that you will spray it. Even sometimes we have some uh, medicines that we use it to, uh, the, we, we put it inside the water that you soak the seed on it first to prevent or to kill every germs in the spare on, on the uh, right what you call the seed before you can take it out and also when you uh, nest 82 and you start you see that it has start germinating you have to spray it so that it will not uh, encounter any challenges on uh, its uh, moving so that when you do all these things it will help the rice to grow and you will get it on time as i said three weeks you will get it to transplant it okay you are seeing medicine on the when uh, the time you soak the water with the rice. Yes. So what medicine that normally you use for soaking the rice? Okay. For 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 that one, um it is hardly it will be hardly for me to say it here because uh, we, we, we have so many uh what do you call so many uh, medicines or that we've been using, but we have correct ones. So unless I get I don't want to introduce you to any other medicine yeah. that will not help so i have to get the correct one because that one was given to us by the uh, the, the chinese people who came and help us okay. so unless i find those ones before i can okay. uh, tell you so maybe when you get some the container or something uh, that yes, will be yes 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 let's go back to the the nursing you said three weeks so the three weeks is how many weeks that you start spraying it oh that is what I said earlier. When you, when you use that uh, medicine for the first, uh, before you, on the water, the one that I said that you put it on the water, when you use that one, it, sometimes you will not encounter uh, that, uh, that the second one. But when, when, if you encounter it, the time the rice or the seed will start germinating, you yourself, you will see that it, there will be a difference. Yes, when you look at some parts, you see that some part is, is growing well and some part is not growing. And sometimes you see that some of the rice has been, uh, it has been closed. Yes, the, 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 when it happens, that like, uh, air doesn't 
pass through. So you see that the germination, the growing will be slow, and you see that others are going. That is where you ind indicate that there is something there. So during that, then you will not wait to, for 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 it to get long, so that it will spoil everything. You will spray it early. Yes. Okay. So that is that will be the problem. even. So sometimes you will not encounter all those things. So it will not be need for you to to spray that early. Okay, so somebody is watching and it can this some is going fast and some is not going spray that it, the person can use. I'm talking about the, the spray yes, one. It is the same thing. It's the same medicine that you will spray. In the same medicine. Yes, there's no difference. It's the same medicine. Oh, so okay. when you get that one, it you can use and even uh for this uh, spraying we have so many any insecticide you can use it to spray. Okay. Yes, the one that you put it in the water, that is one. That one is a special. But for the bed spraying, you can use any insecticide okay. to spray. Yes. Okay. Okay. So yes, come to uh, after three weeks. What's next? After three weeks, you you transplant it. Okay. You we have people that they can transplant it, and sometimes we have machine that transplant it. I don't know. If somebody is looking at me, I don't know your area, whether you have the machine or not. So you transplant it. Before you transplant it, you have to uproot it, everything and you wash the under. Sometimes when you uproot it, you see that the under it contains a lot of uh, uh, sand. Or whether it's clay or sand, you, it contains that. When it happens that the transplanters cannot move fast. So you have to wash it. When you uproot it, then you, you wash it so that uh, the, un the under will will be clear for you to uh for them for the transplanters to get it easy to transplant it uh, how, how to how do you to wash wash it oh you 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 make sure that around around where the bed is there is a water so exactly when you remove it from the sand then you wash the under and you put it somewhere ah, okay so, so that the, if, uh, the root yeah. can yes you can get, get the roots easily Yes, and also when the transplanters are trans uh, transplanting, they hold it on uh, their left and they use their right hand to take it. So when there is a sun inside or the, it contains a, a sun inside uh, at the root, you can see that it will be heavy for him to control and it's, it's harder for him to take it fast. Okay. So you wash under so that he, he, he or she will get it easy to take it. In. So after transplanting, you take how long to the right to be matured? Okay, it's uh, when you apply the input very well, it's three months, two weeks, you have to uh, harvest it. Three months, two, two weeks. weeks, you have to harvest it. And that is where when you transplant it, uh, when you apply your input very well. And that is how you have going to apply the input. You have, the input, you have NPK and you have urea. For a, uh, every acre, you have to use two NPK, one urea, one bag of uh, two bags of NPK, one bag of urea. That is what you use, and that is how you are going to apply it. When you transplant your rice, two weeks exactly two weeks. So because of this, you have to make sure that you are having your input there because sometimes you can transplant your rice and. When, when, when it's time for you to trans, uh, to uh, apply the input, you may not get it because maybe you don't have the money to buy. So you make sure that you are having those things there before you transplant it. Other than that, it will, it, yes, it will go, it will lose something. Because when you, when you apply, as I said earlier, when you apply it on time, that is why you can get it three weeks, uh, three weeks, two, uh, three months, two weeks, you can harvest it. And also you can get the yield very well yes so two weeks two weeks after transplanting you have to make sure that you apply your mpk two bucks for that one you don't add you don't have to add the urea yes you apply the mpk all the all the two bucks you apply it that is for one acre per acre okay yes you apply two mpks yes for two weeks after transplanting and you wait another two weeks, then you apply the urea also, and that is all. Yes, okay. that is how you have to apply it. And somebody also may not do it that somebody also will apply one bag of uh, urea. Somebody want to apply it three times, 
So the person will apply one bag of NPK first after the trans two weeks after the transplanting, one NPK. So after two weeks, or oh, uh, yes, that is one month. Then he apply half of urea, half NPK. So that one you mix together. Yes, you mix them together. Then you apply it. So the the following application, then you add that one to somebody also will apply one bag one bag of MPK two weeks time and the following two weeks you he, he will apply one bag of MPK and a half urea you mix it and leave only half of urea so that when the rice starts coming then when the rice starts coming then he apply the rest half bag half bag of urea so that is how it, it, it will goes that is how the application is. Okay, how do you to apply the two items? Do you mix yeah. water or? No, 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 you don't mix water. You, or, or, uh, yes, when you get the urea, you may know how it is. The urea is like sugar. And yes, it's a form, it forms, it's, it's like sugar. It's having a form like sugar. So you will just take it and you will be spreading it around. Hey, then yes. some, some, some place will not be effective. Oh. That is why you have to make sure that it, when you start applying it, you don't have to apply it plenty. You have to manage it. So when you finish the whole food and you see that some has left, then you start spreading it also. But when you start, then you take it, you, you'll be pouring it big, big. You will see that by the time you will finish, it will left small. That is why you will start managing. So those those areas may not get enough and uh, can say input. So you, when you start, you start managing it so you finish all. And when you finish, you, you yourself, you may know that this area, I, I need to go there again. This area, I need to go there. Or you can start afresh also. For that time, all the land has gotten it. So that is how you have to apply your, uh, your input. Okay, yes. two of them is, is powder. No, no, no. They are not powder. They are solid. So okay. yes, they are, they are like they are like uh, sugar, but okay. it's bigger. Okay, it's bigger, small sugar. It yeah. is something that is countable. You can even count it. Uh, wow. Yeah. After you transfer, yes. you use one man to to apply those things. That yes. is what why I say somebody also will use two months to apply because by two months it will start the rice will start coming. You, you will see the yields that is coming. So when you see that, that is where you apply your last urea. Those who choose to apply it three times. Okay. So the last one, it will be only urea. Yes. Okay. But according to the education that we pass through, when you apply NPK after two weeks, it doesn't work. Okay. Yes, it doesn't work. It's only urea that will work. The, the, the rice will need the MPK after two weeks after transplanting. That is why, how, where, yes, that is where the rice will need the, uh, the MPK. So that will be the time you have to apply it. And it will help the rice also to grow strongly. Yes. So that, is, that will be the time you have to apply this. But after, after two weeks, after one month, when you apply MPK, doesn't work it's only urea that works okay i i, I need to ask this question before i came a, i asked the previous questions what interval that when you plant one that you give before you go to the nest oh let, let, it will be uh, one one feet one feet one intervals. Feet. yes the intervals is one feet wow yes one okay feet. so one feet square if it's one by one or where I'll, Yes, it's column or yes. The, the normal. Are you talking about the number of uh, rice you put? In? No, I'm talking about the the space that you, you live. Yes, the space. Yes, it it is one feet. So, okay. uh, we for us sometimes we choose to uh, make it very close, but at the normal circumstance, you have to make it one feet. Okay. Yes, one feet open, one feet. Uh, uh, what do you call it? The the length should be one feet and the, the uh, width, uh, width or two have to be one feet. One feet, so yes. it can work too. Yes. Okay. After the rice start coming, what challenge that do you face?
what when the rice okay you see um for the rice we have meal and we have few meal rice yes you may not know so if you don't know that <laughs> it, it, it can you can make it not to the number of rice you have to get it you will not get it so that is how uh, the male is and the female is when you start the when you see that the rice is shooting you may see that you have some small small white uh, uh, substances around the rice that's the male male rice okay. yes so some somebody will wait to see that the rice is coming shooting before applying the sick uh, the last urea for that one the more you are passing through the rice you see that those white that i'm saying that is is the male you are you you, it, you are taking it out so that that area every area that you pass you see that the number of rice that you have to get it over to that place you, you will not get it so always you have to make sure that you apply it early before the rice will start shooting because when it shoots, definitely the males came, comes face. So you may clear all, when you pass through, you may clear all the males there. When you clear it from there, it's, it's hardly for those areas to get enough rice over there. So that is the, the difference between the female and the, and the, the male. And um, after, when you see that the rice has been shoot and you, you, apply, you apply your urea, Let's say three weeks to one month, it will be ready for harvesting. Yes, okay. it will be ready for harvesting. And you don't have to wait for long. Other than that, uh, you may lose so many rice on the food. So, <laughs> yes, exactly when you see that it has been turned to green, you have to harvest it very fast. We are having machines for testing for those things. But for us, we have getting the experience and we have known how it is. So, mm -hmm. exactly when it is time. You may see that it is time for us to have it but if you don't know you you can test it by see when you see the rice you see that it has turned to green don't wait for 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 long time other than that uh, you may lose so many rice okay. on the food yes okay are there any animal disturb the rice when you are when the rice yes um if you refuse to pass through those process that I said earlier, those chemicals, if you refuse to use it, um, sometimes it may not happen at the small time, uh, when it is small, it will start when it, it's uh, up to two months or one month, two weeks. That is why you see that. But when it passes through those uh, challenges, the animals or everything will be killed. So you may not face those things. So what, what about the bears too? Oh, for the bears, that is uh, we terms is scaling. We 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 will start scaling. We start you suck the bears, but somebody will, may choose to use net. For the net is good to use the net, but even when you use the net, still you have to go there because if you if you don't go there and you may think that uh, the net is protecting the rice, you 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 may end up getting nothing because. This time around the bears they will come and stand it on it and you see that all of them will come at the one place so it will go down to the, where the rice is so when you are there this time around when you use the net uh, you will not struggle as the way you want you will not use the net but when you use the net it will helps you a little bit rather than you are not using it but when you use it it doesn't mean you will stay home you will definitely have to come to the fold and when you see them, then you shout, they will go because of the net, they will go. But if there is no net, even when you shout, you will lie. Unless you get closer to them before they will take, they will leave. So uh, that is how we've been doing, uh, controlling the bed. So how many times you, you come here to control the bed? That is what I said. Exactly when the rice started the meat coming, shooting. Okay. You so have to start coming because we have bears that take the legs. When it, when it starts shooting, there is something called milk. It's a milk. So we have bears that, that eat the milk. Okay. If you don't come, they will eat it. So you, you start coming exactly when you see that the rice has started shooting. That is where you also will start your scaling or you start your netting. Yes, okay, up so, to a month. So somebody is, is using 
20 acres. So that person will need to see his Yes, you need to net. you need to use net or 20 you, acres. Yes, either you will get people to help you. Yes, to 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 do your scaling or you will net it. Even when you net it, 20 acres, even when you net it, you alone or two pe people cannot do it. Yeah, so it depends. Uh, one person can do only, let's say, three acres. Three acres scaling. <laughs> and for that one, even it's not easy. <laughs> yes, even it's not easy unless you net it. That is why it will help you. But apart from that, unless uh, you get enough people, to help you for that fifty acres. Other than that, you may not get some from anywhere. And 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 one thing about the bed is, if you are having two acres, and you leave the beds to penetrate on your field for two days, you end up getting nothing. You will not come and meet anything on the field. Two weeks. Two two days. Not a hey, two weeks. Two days. Wow. Yes, they will finish it. They will finish everything on the field. Two days. Yes. So it's it's not something that you can joke with this. So our our ch main challenges is that pilot, that very pilot. It's one month. You take you 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 start the scaling for you, you use one month for the scaling. So okay. okay. So let's yeah, check out the labor. Okay, for the labors, just use one one acre of land. So for starting to finishing. Okay, for the starting, it depends. Somebody may spray the food. Somebody also will, will get people to read the food. It depends what you want to do. So if you if you want to transplant it, the first yes, when you spray the food, the retivator will come and retivate for the first time. Yes, when you when you retrieve it for the first time, then you do your bed, you nest your rice. So by three weeks, let's say two weeks and one week, you have to make sure that the second retrieve will go on. You will come and retrieve it for the second time because by three weeks the rice will be ready for transplanting. So if you when you retrieve it for the first time and by two weeks, one week. Two years, two weeks, and some few days. When you see that, you have to um, spray it again. You have to spray it before the second retrieval comes. And some some also will not spray it because there will be no weed for them to spray. So you wait for the three weeks. Then you do the second retrieval, then the transplanting also comes. Okay. So that is the land preparation. We have so many ways for uh, pr uh, propelling the land. It depends. What you want to do? Yes. Okay. So transplanting and uh, find the thin diet. Which one is available for? For the transplanting, is is more good than planting it straight because sometimes you will plant the seed straight away. You may face the challenges that the seed may not germinate, and when it happens that 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 time you have already spent money for those who will come and plant it for you and you will pay them and also you will lose the seed yes but when you when if you want to uh what do you call it nest it for that one you may know that no that that thing it doesn't come so there's no way you go and you have people to come and transplant it so for that one is there and uh, secondly when you when you plant it straight, the number of seed that have to go to one hole will be more than transplanting. So that so when it, when it happens that, that like that, you see that the, the the rice will not move fast because the hole is small to contain that number of rice that that the planters will put it in. Yes, but when you nest the rice, you plant it three 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 or three two three two there was no way you can put you can plant it and you put one uh, what do you call three or four on one hole sometimes ten twelve and above so it also makes you waste the seed okay. and also the rice will not feel comfortable on the hole to grow 
as you want. Yes. Okay. So once you are saying seed, 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 uh, do you have types of breed? Yes, we have. Uh, you have dif we have different type of uh, seed. Seed. Okay. Yes, we we have ex vical we have agra, uh, buake. So we have so many seeds, but every one of them also has their ways of uh, of preparing them or they are they are characters they are there's everybody all of the seed there have their characters and we grow agra because for agra it is very heavy so when you put small on the scale you get a number of uh, uh, uh what do you uh, kg that you want but for s biker and for s biker also when you plant it you will get it will germinate more but there is not heavy yes so that is the difference but we we prefer the agra yes okay. is, is it a local is this a local rice or is it a foreign rice uh we don't have local rice because all the rice came came from foreign but because we are preparing it here or we are making it here we call it local but the seed all the seeds doesn't come from ghana Ah, yes. ah, we, we, you know I say I want to buy local rice. I'm going to buy yes, local. Yes, it's local. Rice. It's local because we, we, we farm it here. Everything was done here. Just by it, we did not get the seed over here, but everything was done here. That is why we are calling it local. And um, how we treat it, we will not treat it like the way foreigners will treat theirs. Okay. Yes, that is why we, we normally call it local. And then moreover. The machinery, the machinery for uh, milling and other things, uh, we don't have those, those type, those types of uh, machines that the foreigners use. So we have to know, differentiate it for them to know how local rice is. And and sometimes also the way we've been treating our local rice is very very tasty than foreign rice. Why? Because the foreigners will not bring the uh, flesh, their fresh rice here. They will not import it. So we, for us, for us, exactly when we finish, then we'll be selling it for, for Ghanaians. Yes, that is what they do over there. It's the same apply to us. If we've been Ghanaians, we'll be able to crop a very huge amount and it's even more than what it can feed Ghanaians and, and some will left. Definitely we will export it. So when we are exporting it, it's after we have feed and you see that some have slept. That is where where we will uh, export it. So that is what happened over there. So by the time they will start exporting, they will make sure that they are having flesh rice, right? So it will take time. So we don't eat flesh for rice. That makes our own so tasty than theirs. Okay. So why like our local rice is very expensive than? The foreign ones. Yes, it's expensive because of the way we've been treating it. As I said earlier, when 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 you are selling, you're rejecting something that you have rejected. You see that it's it, it will, it will, you will not worry yourself to There's sell no, it, make no, it expensive. No value, right? Yes, it doesn't value. So you you will just sell it anyhow because flesh ones are in, and 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 for their people, they will not buy, buy the old one. They will buy the flesh one, so they will just sell it. And yeah, so for us, our own is flesh, so we need to sell it expensive. And it's not, uh, it's not that we just make it expensive. It's it's, it's because of the expenses that we make before the, the labor. And yes, stuff. everything. By the time, as I'm talking to you, when you are in our area, Gomwa Ochreku here, and you want to crop for one acre, you have to get at least six thousand five hundred or seven thousand. Now I will come back again, but you. Yes, continue. Yes, that is why that makes us more expensive because when you go to the market for to buy inputs, NPK, urea, whatever it is, everything is expensive. Yes, everything is expensive. Initially, our rice we, we used to sell it hundred cities, and those times we, we buy um, in, our input that is urea, and we buy it for uh, forty cities and sixty cities. But as I'm talking to you, five hundred and fifty, four hundred and fifty. So when you when a farmer go there and buy these things, after you you are not expecting it to sell it less for for him or her not to get the amount spent. Okay, so yes, this uh, what land is good for 
rice yes uh, we have clay land and uh, if you want to club rice you need to look for clay clay land mm -hmm. the reason is that for clay land they can sustain their rice for long time but when the land is sandy exactly when you put the, the water in the following day you come and you don't meet any water everything will drain out yes because for sandy water is easily the water find it easy to penetrate through but for clay it's not easy like that and uh, uh, for rice rice also need water so any and uh, each every, each and every day you have to make sure that there is a water around the water uh, the, the rice other than that you will not get it correctly so when if you want to start rising you have to make sure that you get some uh, clay land not sandy land so right need full water so the, your land must be full of water yeah or... not not even for you have to make sure that at least the the land always be flooded okay. yes you have to make sure the land always be flooded and before be, before you can do that unless you get clay land so when you get clay land you when you when you flood the land it will take at least two weeks before you can put another water there if, uh, ah, so how do you water it do you, do you put the water inside or you water it it depends where you are for us as i saw you we have canals when you open the water and you get to your area and you need water you just open the way there is a way there that mm. it will pass through to your food if you don't need water then you close it but when you are using some also use pumping machines because they, they they will do it at the riverside so they will use pumping machine but pumping machine when you need water then you spark you spark your machine and you flood it you flood your land yes if you don't need uh, water you will not spark your machine yes but for our food for us we always irrigate it so when we need water areas that need water we just irrigate it for them too okay. so what cities that is good for planting rice for 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 uh, rice doesn't have a season you can plant rice at any time depends where you are yes sometimes we have some people that they are they are farming around rivers for rivers when you do it uh, we have some time that the river will definitely flood so when you club at that area it will spoil everything that is why some people choose uh, some seasons for their cropping but for rice if you haven't if you have a place where there will be no flooding don't worry we, you can crop at any time depends if you can get water only you can get water anytime you can be cropping rice okay. so rice doesn't have a season wow yes okay so are they are they ready market oh yes yes for the marketing uh now when you come to your check or we are started blending our rice, so for the marketing is not is not all that heavy. And as a for Ghana here now, even even Africa now, they have seen that local rice is very good. And uh, if you are li listening to me and you don't know that uh, local rice is very good, please start eating local rice because for local rice is very good. So and it's 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 very tasty and also let us uh, value what we have. So for now, Ghanaians are eating local rice. So for us, our rice, any exactly when we finish harvesting, uh, let's say one month, we, 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 not have, we may not have rice on, the, on our warehouse. So for the marketing, it moves very well. Okay, so in the year, how many times can we can plant rice? Initially, initially uh, we, we used to crop three times in a year. But for now, we are closer to river ISU and we were having dike over there. Uh, it has been blocked. So anytime that the river, river ISU will be flooding, we see that all the food will be flooded. So now we crop once in a year because we have minor rain season, we have minor season and we have major season, both minor mm. and, and, uh, and major they are all flat. How do you harvest the rice? Okay, um, for now we are having harvesting machine. Initially, we used to cut it with our hand. 
and but for now we are having having uh, we are having a harvesting machine so when your rice is ready we will just go for the harvesting to go to your farm and you will harvest it easily so for now we are not having challenges in uh, harvesting and even at the time uh, we implement harvesting machine we were not having it but for now we are having some in our community so it's we are having we are getting it easy for harvesting for now so, so harvesting is not problem. when you come to if I, your one acre like this we charge you how much yes when it, when when harvester come to harvest one acre take eight ten bed eight ten again yes eight ten is this per acre wow yes so can you take out to the the manual one if you if you are oh, for mana one is it's very it's it's more expensive than uh machinery because for her for minor one uh those who the labors the labors may charge you for only cutting they can charge you 800 or 700 for wow. one acre yes and when they cut it they have to beat it they have to you, you have some um small wood that they will use to do beat it so that all the rice will be coming out from the uh, this thing so for that uh, if it, for that pillow, uh, process also they can take more than thousand so wow. yes and when you cut when they cut the uh, the rice also you have to get another laborers to gather all the rice for them to beat it so for that uh, for that one or two so you can for one acre you can spend let's say 300 cents Yes, so for, for, for the hand cutting, as we used to do initially, for that one, it's very expensive. Yes, even you cook food for them and all those things, you buy water, buy for machine. Uh, and it, and for that one, too, if you don't take it, you can even spend two two weeks. For, for the, one, yes. One, one acre? One acre, yes. You can spend two weeks for that. But for machine, let's say one hour. One hour. Yes. Wow. Even some one acre is less, less than one hour. Wow. Yes, it, it depends. Sometimes you see that uh, some of the rice will lodge. When you, for for the lodging, the rice, uh, the machine have to slow, go slow if, to pick everything from the ground. Okay. Yes, but if all the rice is standing at least thirty minutes one acre, it will be able to have it. Then you are free. Okay. Or for, so for the for the machinery, it's very very good done. Okay. So after the machine, you, you, I can go and prepare it and eat. Or... Yes, when you when you harvest it, that is why you start at drying it. So you have you have to get the poly or platform. You put everything then to dry it. Yes, you dry it before you can get it. Uh, you can get it well for uh, or or it will be ready for milling. If you if you don't dry it, no no no, it's not rice. So when you harvest it from the uh, farm, you have to bring it home, or even you can even choose to dry it at the farm. Depends when you have tapoli or platform. You just open it there and you dry it. You'll be ready for milling. Okay, so the dry will take how long? Oh, the dry depends how you get the sun. Yes, when you get good sun, at least three days to be ready. So three, I'll, three, four days it will be. So how do you know say like this one is full dry? Oh, when it is well dried, even you can see that some dust will start coming from it when you open it and you you just uh, take small to it. You see that there's some small dust coming. And even though you can use your teeth to clack it, when it is okay. hard, you see that it is dry. So normally we use our teeth. When you clack it, you see that it will it will sound when it's ready. Okay. okay. I think that we are coming to the end of the, this interview. So uh, I want to give us estimate of one acre. If someone wants to prepare one acre, mm -hmm. what expense that the person will do and what the person need can if you can take you, out. You 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 first have to be make sure that you um you will spray the land. And let's say you can use run up three to spray the land. And um if you want to read, also you may you you will read. So let's say for for land population from Trata because of Trata retribution, when you do one retribution for one acre, it's three hundred cities. Yes. So when you do first and second, six hundred. So for land population, let's say you may you have to get thousand thousand five. 
yes thousand thousand five i'm saying thousand thousand five because all the plots are not one some some plots when you spray you will not face any other weed again so you you come and, and do the second retribution but some also you will spray and spray and spray and spray because some of the weeds are very stubborn they are hard to dry yes so for that one it will cost you so at least you can you you have to get a thousand thousand five for land preparation you get your urea your mpk and uh and some and insecticides so at least as i said earlier you have to get six thousand six thousand five hundred before you can crop for one acre. Six thousand. Six thousand or six thousand five hundred. So after six thousand five hundred, yes, six thousand five hundred. Mm. So after that the harvest, the person will get how much for Yeah, so uh, one acre when you do it for well, you can get sixty bucks of rice. And sixty bucks of rice, one acre one bag is three hundred and fifty. So it will be three hundred and fifty times uh sixty. So Mm. Uh, this one I will do calculation. Yes. <laughs> Let's do the calculation. Uh, hey, where's my calculator? Three thousand times sixty. Yes. At least twenty-one thousand Ghana cities. Twenty-one thousand Ghana cities yes. for one acre. One acre. Yes. That is what you will get. Even somebody will somebody will get more than that. But yes, but at least uh, let's say you can get that system. Somebody also may get it less. Yes, that is what I said that it so, depends how you yourself you are going to prepare the land and how you are the good care that you are going to take the land. Okay. So yes. your your land is how many acres for now? The entire Not your your me oh for me I'm having two acres. So two acres, that means you get four thousand. Yes, sometimes I get more than that. Sometimes I get less. Within three months. Yes, three no, months, two weeks. So yes, four, four months. months. Yes, okay. four months. Yes. Okay. So if somebody is watching us from outside Ghana, or somebody is watching us here in Ghana, and the person have money to start, like full time job or full time business, what the machine that the person need to buy so that the work might be easy for the person? Oh yes, if you want to. Uh, start and you are having your m money you want to do it big and you want machines the only machine that you have to uh, get it first is tractor four by four yes for that one it can pass through the land and rotate it flooded land to rotate it that is four by four tractor and when you get four by four tractor you need to get workers if you, if you are having money and you really want to uh, engage yourself into rice farming you have to get workers and not getting workers just workers you have to get workers uh, that they at least know uh, uh, what is rice farming yes at least they are having some small experience two or three experience in, in rice farming if you just go for any other people you end up telling us that oh rice farming is no good but when you get the right people that they can help you you you, you end up getting your money back for one just season it will surprise you yes for rice farming you see uh, rice is not something that um when you put it there it will spoil even the uh, the bias did not come early it will not spoil it can be there for uh more than a year so it's not so and and local rice as i'm talking to you now local rice it all what is needed is you to farm it or to get the rice the buyers are, are penetrating. Yes. So if you are having your money and you want to intro, uh, uh, can say, come into rice farming, please, it's a, it's a very good decision. You get to get your 4x4 four four tractor. And um, like I would say, you can get power tiller. But for power tiller, when you get, uh, uh, what do you call it? 4x4 four four tractor, that is far, far better than power tiller. Because sometimes you may not get the operator to operate the uh, the power tiller for you but for trata you get them so you get your four by four trata and that is all and yes you can even you can get your harvesting also that's that is uh, the machinery that you can start with and for not forgetting it the um, transplanting machine yes you can 
have your transplanting machine but for transplanting machine you cannot just nest the rice anywhere we have boxes for that you can nest your rice in so if you get even when you go when you go to when you go there that you're going to buy a transplanting machine they will tell you whatever that involves so when you get your 4x4 tractor you get your transplanting because it may happen that you not get labels to transplant it for you even our place we are suffering sometimes so you can have your transplanting machine and um uh, we, even if you don't want to transplant it, the tractor we have some another machine that you can add it to the tractor that can plant it straight away from you for you and for that one also is very good because you can set for for the machine to plant it at any amount you want to so for that one also is very good so you can get your transplanting and four by four then your harvesting you are good to go Okay, thank you very much. Please, your telephone number for in case of if somebody want to reach out to you. Yes, um, if you want to start a rice farming and you need any direction, you just don't worry. Call me, my number zero two four five zero two four five nine zero eight two two eight zero two four five nine zero eight two two eight. When you call me, I will guide you. And you will never regret of coming to farm rice farming. Okay. Do you have social handle? Yes, I'm having social handles. That is, uh, it's only Facebook. I just, yes, yes, it's only Facebook. Yes, Honorable Maxwell. When you get there, you can get me. Okay. So, any advice for, for somebody who wants to start? Well, it's if you're out there and you want to uh, come into rice farming, um, it's not something bad. It's fun, something very good that. I would advise you to, to, to put yourself in. Um, only if you can get plot or you can get area that you want to do it. Even if you don't have money, you just start something small and you look for help from some uh, somebody and start something. You see that um, you, 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 you will get money and the second one you can uh, make it big and also you will not need money from anybody. It's a very good thing for... Uh, somebody out there if you want to do it you have to do it because me i completed shs i decided to go to university but um i will not get money <laughs> even when i go to university and come back i have to look come and look for money uh or what do you call it come and look for job and um in africa uh, office work is not all that easy so when you when you i just enter into this farm rice farming and i'm getting I, I i bet you if i tell you what i've been getting out of it it will surprise you though we have we are having challenges in every week we have challenges in work, but uh, for the good side, it, 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 it's something good. Yes, it's something good. If you are out there and um, you want to start uh, rice farming, it's, it's, it's a good decision that you have taken it. So I will encourage you to do it and it will, it will help you. Okay. If you like, if you watch this video to the end and you like it, you just share it and you like it for everybody also to watch and um, it may it may help somebody also so you do you just like it you share and you comment thank you very much okay bye